you're going to have to find some short term child care because the schools are going to be delayed. We have so many of them. The newest one coming in Monroe Gregg opening two hours, but we literally have dozens of schools. Now this is 465 at US 31 on the city's south side. And yes, we've got school delays throughout much of Johnson County this morning too. This is I 74 at Greensburg where visibility is near zero and we're going to hear more from Kelly in just a few moments on this. But boy, have we seen some real issues with poor visibility throughout now most of the state below two miles. If you have to head out to work or school, not just Please take it easy because this is going to be an issue until about 10 o'clock. Again, with numerous school delays, they're at the bottom of your screen. And of course, at WTHR.com, we've got the list for you there. Take a look at these temperatures. It would be warmer than this, but it's so kind of misty and foggy out there. So Kokomo's at 63, two hour delay for you hot dogs at Frankfurt at 61. Noblesville's at 61, two hour delay in Zionsville. Now we're at 60, 60 at Indianapolis International and 54 right now with zero visibility in Bloomington. Seymour, you're at 56. North Vernon is at uh, 54. As we go through the day today, it's going to get much better. So if you've got little ones and you want to go to Zubu, opens at 2, closes at 7, we'll get up to 80 degrees by then. And yeah, we're closing down on the last few uh, hours, really, of uh, this month of September. Now, Jelly Roll's in concert tonight, coming off that big Witsit Chapel album that uh, really has placed him now in the country repertoire 8 p.m. 69 so temperatures will fall pretty quickly while we get up to the 80s tomorrow IU takes on Maryland College Park 72 for that game against the Terrapins. Let's show you now what we're in store for. So this is 1030 this morning. We'll still have lingering fog north of Indianapolis, but that is going to burn off. And then we're going to take over with a south southeasterly breeze that as we go from September into October is going to make things hot around here. That's right. Hot going into October 80 today will be the coolest day for the week. Take a look at Sunday for the Colts game. 84 degrees. I don't know if they have the roof open or not. It may be maybe too hot for that 88 by Wednesday, Kelly. Yeah. And